Along with our studio engineer, Hannah Byers, Rocky Downing, Cliff Casper, we've joined you once again from Washington County High School and the Swift Valley Lake Championships quarterfinal round, and it's the Hanover Wildcats and the Clifton Clyde Eagles getting set to go. For Clifton Clyde, Zach Sorrell, a 5'9", junior, wears number three. 5'8", the senior, Matt Barnes, he is uh, wearing number 11. Bradley Cook is a 6'2", junior, wears number 25. Number 31 is Michael Sear, a 6'0", senior, and fellow 6'0", senior, Sean Fahey, wears number 32. For the Hanover Wildcats, one of the top-ranked teams in the state in 1A Division One basketball, it is Will Bruna outside. We certainly uh, know what he has done on this floor heading into the state championships last year there at Emporia. Had a chance to follow that run. Adam Pritchie, a 6'1", senior. Bruno wears number two. Pritchie, number three. Adam Zarbanicki is a 6'2", senior. He wears number 12. Michael Judeman is a 5'11", senior. He wears number 14. And number 24, six foot sophomore Carter Bruna, the starting lineup for the end of Wildcats. Again, it is Bruna, Pritchie, Zarbanicki, Judeman, and Bruna for Hanover and for Clifton Clyde, Sorrell, Barnes, Cook, Sear, and Fahey. And we are just about set to go here in Washington County. Final game of our quarterfinal round of the uh, TVL. And we are underway as the Hannibal Wildcats and Clifton Clyde Eagles get set to go here. And it's going to be Clifton Clyde with the opening possession. Eagles have it in the backcourt and now cross it through. Hanover actually had control of the tip and couldn't keep control of it. So Clifton Clyde gets it in the paint early to Bradley Cook. Now down low, shot block inside by Zarbanicki. And over back to the way, but it's taken away by Zach Sorrell and then taken right back by Will Bruna. Giveaway meets giveaway here early on in this ball game. Now Bruna from the left elbow lobs it down low. Shot in the paint is up and good by Adam Fritchie. And a 2 nothing start for Hanover. Hanover will hurt you in a lot of ways, and they'll hurt you quick. With the basketball, Matt Barnes for Clifton Clyde. So tall order for the Eagles who come in. With a four and five mark on the year, Hanover with the seven and one mark coming into this game. Now still in the paint by Fritchie. Collision, ball loose. Fritchie dives, saves it, gets it off to Michael Juneman, and his runner on the right baseline up and down. And Hanover out to a four nothing start. Barnes back to the way for Clifton Clyde. Tap it ahead to call the play. Goes right on the wing to Sean Fahey. At the high post, they get it now to Cook. Back outside, Fahey will dribble drive, off-balance jumper, no. Rebound tipped off of Clifton Clyde. It's off of Bradley Cook, the 6'2 junior. And Hanover has it going the other direction. You know, I talk a lot about coaches and how much fun they are to watch. Last year in Dodge City, I caught myself missing about two series because I was right behind Kim Losey. <laughs> and I got so caught up in watching him coach. He is one of the most animated guys on the sidelines, and he can – kill you with his eyes. Very, very active. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I think the players have felt those daggers you're talking about before. He just shot some of Fritchie's so. though. Here's a drive the other direction. Good defense in low by Adam Zarbanek. He just stood his ground and got the takeaway. Will Broda back the other direction. He holds out between the rings, stops, and goes left wing now and deep to Judeman. Top of the key is Fritchie. 6-10 to work, 4-0. Hannah now has passed to the left wing, and it's taken away by Clifton Clyde. The drive and the finish, and the Eagles have a chance at a three-point play for Zach Terrell. Well, that's a good job by Zach Terrell. First of all, anticipating that pass where it was going to be, and then the run out and finish knowing he was going to get contact. Terrell will have a chance to convert an old-fashioned three after a good drive and finish in traffic. The foul was against Michael Juneman, his first. In fact, the first whistle of the game, and Terrell knocks down the free throw, and it's 4-3. So Hanover got the first two buckets. And now a three-point play by Sorrell makes it 4-3. to three. Just under six to work opening quarter. Carter Bruna gives it outside to Fritchie, around right to Juneman, down, down low on the block. Will Bruna kick across paint. Fritchie pulls the trigger, can't get the roll. Rebound comes down to Fahey, and then a foul across the arm called against Zarvanicki. And that'll give it to Clifton Clyde going the other direction. 5.48 first quarter. And this will put the pieces of the puzzle together on the semifinals on the boys' side. Girls' semis are set. Tomorrow, of course, Constellation Day, so we'll have a consola- Constellation Round games. The semis will be on Friday this year. Part of their Ice Storm <laughs> TVL <laughs> revamp. Five and a half to work. Clifton Clyde working around the perimeter right now with the passing. Now, Bay, he dribble penetrates. Below the bucket, underneath the bucket, shot up, no, but a rebound offensively goes to Clifton Clyde and a foul against Fritchie of 
the Hanover Wildcats, and that's going to put the Eagles back at the free throw line. The Clifton Clyde with a chance to go out early. Hanover came out strong and fast, and then Clifton Clyde answered. And at the free throw line is Michael Sear to shoot two. The lefty's first free throw rims off strong. One more charity coming. Say he out for Clifton Clyde, and will come Cordell Sear. Also in is Caleb Charbonneau for the Eagles as Matt Barnes comes out for a breather for Coach Mike Pound. Second free throw up. This one's down. We're tied at four. Sear hits one of two. Hanover back down quickly. Bruna. Hesitation move. Now slides underneath. Laying up and down. Will Bruna's first bucket. It's six to four. Just turned his back as if he was going to stop. Now near turnover it is. Bruna diving. Gets it down low. And it's Judah Carter Bruna who ends up with the bucket. And it's eight to four just like that. Will Bruna lost a shoe, diving for the basketball, came up with it, got it to a teammate, and then fed it down low to Carter Bruna, who knocked in the bucket, and it's eight to four. That is one of the best athletes I have ever seen. He's something else. So fluid and just kind of knows the game. He's going to go back to that little hesitation dribble. He was on a drive, and he, he just turned his right shoulder out toward the perimeter as if he was going to go out. The defense relaxed. He turned relaxed. He turned back to the lane and had a wide open lane out of it. Carter Bruna has it out wing left. His hand over goes to the corner. Will Bruna's three ball on its way. High archer strong. Weak side rebound cuts off to Nathan Oldie, the six one sophomore just coming in. Long down court pass, three on two number to the Eagles and Sorrell all the way to the glass. Zach Sorrell has five. What a move by Sorrell. To really freeze Carter Bruna. We talked about the uh, Will Bruna hesitation wow. move. Sorrell, a little fake pass, and then took it on in. Here's Carter Bruna for three up top, and he drills it. That's how you answer after getting your ankles broken. <laughs> <laughs> and now a near steal in the full court pressure by Hanover. Eagles, long down court pass, drive toward the lane, stop and kick out left Sorrell. It will dribble drive left side. Ball fakes it. Now out near the top of the key, it comes to Michael Sear. And they'll reset the offense in the hands of Caleb Charbonneau. Wing right. Sear taken away by Will Bruna on the baseline. Outlet pass up the left sideline. Juniman, and he's fouled. And it'll be Hanover's basketball on the sideline. Midway point opening quarter, 11-6. Hanover the early five-point lead. But St. Clyde had, had the three-point bucket and then a free throw by their offense to tie it at four. But now it's been a little run, 7-2 to two by the Wildcats. Hanover with it. Will Bruna out top. Works it left wing. Fakes the three. Now lobs it low. Trying to go inside to Darby Dickey. It's going to be taken away by Matt Barnes. But now the outlet pass taken by Bruna. Will Bruna spins, turns, and he's going to be fouled before he can shoot it. And basketball out of bounds to Hanover on the baseline. Now, Will Bruna is the guy you run into on the street or in the hallway, and you have no idea <laughs> what kind of athlete he is. He doesn't have the look, but he's he's an incredible athlete. A couple, of, a couple of state records on the football field yeah. last year. Just off the sideline, Dakin Stallbomber tried the three, wouldn't go down. Clifton Clyde trying to push it. Down court, lay in, up and good. Nice play. Mason Oldie with the bucket and a timeout by Coach Skip Losey and some of those daggers you talked about earlier. See you in a man. Are being wow. thrown around. 11-8, Hanover leads at 322 to go first quarter. Back in a moment. Jones Trash Service provides residential and commercial waste pickup in Washington County. Their service is affordable, dependable, and professional. Jones Trash Service also offers roll-off containers to support your special projects. Whether it's renovation, cleanup, roof replacement, or yard clearing, they'll deliver the containers to you when you need it and remove it when your job is complete. Contact them for quotes for home or business trash service if you're not already on their route. Jones Trash Service of Washington. 11-8, 322 to work here in the first quarter. It'll be Hanover's basketball after the Coach Kim Losey call timeout and message delivered. We'll see how it relays to the court now. I would imagine it was received. Parker Bruna has it out deep. Right wing is Zarvanicki cutting through the paint. Juneman ball tipped away, but a foul on Barnes. It'll be the third team foul now on both squads here in this first half. And that might be the second on Barnes. Yeah, you are right. It is the second on Matt Barnes, and back to the game will come Zach Sorrell. You really don't want Matt Barnes off the floor very long. No, not at all. 5'8", a senior, 
Here's a lob into Zarbaniki. Corner right. Juniman, three ball. Yes. Michael Juniman has five. Now 14 8. Down court pass. Charbonneau further down the floor in the lane. Shot up and missed by Bradley Cook with a rebound. Back wow. up and good. Knocked in that time by Nathan Oldie. He's got two straight field goals. 14 10. Nice play by Oldie. Here's Bruno out top. Will holds off the screen left from Zarbaniki. Now backs it out with the dribble. Bruna goes to work between the legs once, twice, three times, and kicks it corner to Juniman. He dances through a double team, pulls the trigger. No, high in the air for the board is Oli. The sophomore way up in the air to bring it down. And here comes the Clyde the other direction. They go to the post now to Cordell Sear. Caught in the double team, and he travels with the basketball. Just lost the handle on that ball and taking steps trying to recover. By the time he got it back, he had already walked out of the paint. The official with the call, 14-10. And over the lead. Wildcats break the timeline. Bruna across right to Stallbomber. Now to Zarbanicki out top. Free throw line. Carter Bruna, he'll be called for steps. Trying to ball fake it before he could get started back right. His momentum forced him to travel with the basketball. Kevin Dietrich on for the Wildcats. Bruna will come out. Also in for. Clifton Clyde will be Sean Fahey returning to the game, and Cordell Sear will come out. Clifton Clyde's possession, length of the floor to go, 2.09 to work first quarter. 14-10 ball game. Pass up the floor, right sideline to Charbonneau, now toward the lane. Oldie, kick out. Sorrell's got to look for three and buries it. Wow. And he's out to a big time start in this ball game. Eight first quarter points for the 5'9 junior, Will Bruna. Into the paint, unable to get a shot away. Stall bomber outside. 14-13, and over by one. A minute 44 to work first quarter. Outside it comes from Diedrich to Will Bruna near the timeline. Working against Fahey off the screen by Staller by Zarbanikian and a reaching foul right after that screen, and it'll be out of bounds to Hanover on the sideline. Bradley Cook, I believe, called for the whistle. See if that's who they did. Nope, it's uh, actually against Nathan Oldie first foul. And over substituting in as Clifton Clyde had just done the same. A couple of new players off the sideline. Pete Peters in for Hanover. Right sideline beyond the arc with the basketball. Diedrich, he'll put dribble down to the top of the key. Stops, lobs at high post. Juniman, guarded jumper on his way up. No good. Rebound inside battle for Pulled out of there by Clifton Clyde. Now in the backcourt, it's handed off to Oldie and now to Sorrell, who leads all scorers with eight first quarter points. And it's a 14 13 ball game, handover by just one. Right side wing and deep is Caleb Charbonneau. In the corner right, Oldie. Back out, high post. It comes to Michael Sear. He'll drive left side, and Clifton Clyde has a lead. Sear with three, and the Eagles up 15 14. Will Bruna kick out left side, and it's thrown away, and Clifton Clyde bench up. Their fans are starting to get a little energy as they see their team up by one over the Hanover Wildcats. Listen, Clyde's not going to back down, and I think Hanover's come out here, and they may have overlooked him a little bit, and I think that is what got Coach Kim Losey's ire up, is that they have come out a little bit sloppy, trying to impose their will early, and uh, Clifton Clyde not having anything to do with no, them right not. now. They're standing up. Hanover rate number two in the state of Kansas in high school basketball right now, 1A Division One, The drive by Clifton Clyde missing. Weak side rebound put back up and in by Cole Bills. And now it's 17-14. Bruna lobbing the paint. Pete Peters takes it up against defense and gets a friendly roll. Stop touch by the sophomore. And it's 17-16. Hanover called for a foul in the backcourt. Carter Bruna. 22 seconds remaining. Clifton Clyde by one. Kim Losey did not like the call. He's having a good conversation on the sideline right now with that official. But Clifton Clyde not backing down. They want to run. They want to be in transition. Sorrell gets it out deep to Mills. It is just that bucket a moment ago. Now at the top of the free throw lane, they kick it outside to Sorrell again. Eight seconds left. Sorrell with the dribble. Wants to clear it out. Double team coming at him. Sorrell to the baseline. Ball takes it. Kicks it out top. Peters the steal. And as the buzzer sounds, we had a, a travel and maybe a foul about to be called, but time had run out. 
First quarter's a good one. Clifton Clive leads 17-16 over Hanover. You're listening to TVL coverage on 100.9. Before a room can be decorated, furnished, or moved into, it must have a substantial floor. When chosen with care, the best flooring options will set the stage for many years of good looks, durability, and comfort. Wardcraft Home Store has a range of options for every room in your home. Look over the Mohawk carpet style choices or pick something out in a luxury vinyl that offers the look of tile or wood. See the quality flooring selection in stock at Ward. Craft Home Store on the north side of the square in Play Center. Instead of turning for home, here's a better idea. Go to Turn 4 Bar and Grill in Hanover. They're open from 4 to midnight Monday through Saturday, and they feature a variety of menu items such as sandwiches of all kinds, pizzas with your favorite toppings, and on Thursday nights, it's Mexican food night. If you're especially brave, you can try the specialty known as the Turn 4 Pizza from Hell. It might be a little spicy, but one thing's for sure, you'll have a good time at Turn 4 Bar and Grill in Hanover. Well, through eight minutes, it has been an entertaining game, to say the least, and maybe a surprise to many, and maybe even to the Hanover Wildcats. I don't think it's any surprise to the Clifton Clyde Eagles that they're in this game, but they lead by one over Hanover. Wildcats will have possession to start. And Clifton Clyde really out on the perimeter pressuring. A reach-in foul will be called against Michael Sear. Well, I thought Clifton Clyde looked pretty good last night against Lynn. I mean, Lynn was having some issues, but, you know, Clifton Clyde was – running. They scored a lot of points, but a lot of points up early, and he's trying to do the same thing here now, and now another foul is going to be called. It's a sixteen foul, so the next one puts Hanover in the bonus here in this first quarter. 17-16 ball game. Clifton Clyde the lead by one. Hanover with possession. Gentleman has it out wing left and deep. Out top to Fritchie. In the corner left is Bruna. Will Bruna with the dribble down. Now it comes out top to Juniman. Corner right, Carter Bruna back up top. Juniman's got to look for three, and he buries. Well, that is the third three already. You leave him alone and let him set up if he's going to bury it. Dangerous. He's got eight. And now Clifton Clyde turned it over as the hand of a wildcat pressure forces him into a long pass down court. Nobody home for the Eagles on the receiving end. Juniman brings it across, just hits the three. That's the third three of the first half for the hand of a wildcats already. Here's Bruna. He's going to try another. This one rims off. Rebound in low. Big board by Cole Mills. Long down court pass. Pete Peters back defending. Gets up in the air, but still able to finish is Michael Sear, who has five. And we're tied at 19. Juniman dances his way towards the lane. Corner left. Bruna for three. That's Carter, and he drills it. That's his second three. And it's a three-point handover lead. Entry pass in the backcourt. Fahey brings it across, stops in the front court. He gives it off now to Bill. High post to drive in low. Michael Sear turns, spins, fall away, rims off, rebound to Fritchie. He'll hand it to Will Bruno, who brings it the other direction. Pass down low. He was looking to go back door and taken by Clifton Clyde, and the handle turnover gives the Eagles possession back. Pete Peters will come out. 22-19. 626 remains here in this first half of play. It is Hanover by three over Clifton Clyde. The backcourt, Matt Barnes back in there playing with two fouls. Sorrell on the left wing, Fahey right. Here's a drive by Barnes. Ball fake, pulls the trigger, short, rebound, Carter Bruna. Down floor to Will Bruna. Catch and finish in traffic by Will Bruna. He's got four. Now the lead is five for Hanover. Barnes brings it across. Right side and deep, Fahey. Out near the timeline now to Barnes. Left and deep it comes to Nathan Oldie. Looking low, goes corner left to Barnes. Fahey covered up by Carter Verna inside the lane. Around right now to Sorrell, who has eight first quarter points. Sorrell now fouled by Verna. Right in front of Coach Kim Losey, he could not believe the call. Verna defending, backing up, and Sorrell lost his balance, but they called Bruna for the blocking foul. Will Bruna, visibly not real happy either with the call. <laughs> Perplexed look on his face. Sorrell comes out. The foul on Will Bruna his first. Puts him Clyde inbound. Juniman the steal. The run out against Barnes with those two fouls just has to give him the lay-in. And Juniman now with 
10 points here in the first half. Yeah, not much Barnes could do there. Now out top, triple penetration, kick out to Barnes, fake on the three. And now lobbed down low and thrown away and pushed it by, gets it back. Hanover stretched the lead out to seven after trailing by one at the end of one quarter. And Coach Mike Towns for Clifton Clyde calling the timeout. 26-19, 525 remains first half. You're listening to Twin Valley League Basketball on 100.9. Households are using the internet more and more these days. Netflix, web surfing, gaming, and even using the Wi-Fi on your cell phone each take up a portion of your home's internet pipe. The lower the internet speed, the smaller your pipe is. Too many devices and too small of a pipe equals lagging speeds. If you're experiencing lagging internet with your many devices, it might be time to upgrade your internet. Call Blue Valley Telecommunications at 877-876-1228 to find out more. Third Thursdays in Clay Center are a big hit, and CCBA merchants continue to bring you fun events and exciting promotions each month. You'll enjoy shopping at particular businesses as they offer food samples and specials to fit each month's theme, and it's different every time. Clay Center offers a range of items from unique gifts, restaurants, trendy clothes, and products and services to make your life easier. Come out for February's Third Thursday event featuring a chocolate crawl. Taste the creamy chocolate creations from CCBA merchants. 26-19 ball game, Hanover with a lead of seven. Clifton Clyde getting a timeout. Now Will Bruna all the way to the lane, fouled, and he'll head to the free throw stripe. Will Bruna, six-foot senior with four points here early. This has been a pretty good run second quarter start for Hanover after Clifton Clyde had left 17-16. So 10-2 run. Make it 11-2 as Bruna knocks in the first free throw. He has five now. The lead grows to eight. Will Bruno with another charity coming. This one up, also good. Doesn't miss many. Clifton Clyde down court. Charvin on the front court with it right wing. Now crosses over to Payne. He's going to be tripped up by Darvinicki. And so it will be Clifton Clyde's basketball course shot now on the, on the floor. So it's on oh, the yeah. baseline. Both teams will be in the bonus from here on out. The foul on Zarbanicki is second. Clifton Clyde inbounds. Corner right to Nathan Oldie, and then out deep it comes to Barnes. 5.03 remains first half, 28-19. Hanover with the lead after Clifton Clyde led by one. Juneman near steal. It will be taken away. Then a reach and foul on Clifton Clyde. It's going to put Hanover with the stripe on the other end. And in quickly for the Eagles will come Jacob Stenberg. And Mike Pounds, if you've got a uniform on, you're likely going to play in this game. He's had a deep rotation already. Well, he knows what he's got to do against Hanover. They're going to run you, and he knows that. So free throw strike. First one up and in. Your point, it's a good one, because they will run up and down the floor. Hanover, he can get some good bodies in there, maybe slow them down a little bit. Adam Pritchie knocked in the first free throw. The foul was on Oldie, his second for Clifton Clyde. Pritchie gives Hanover a 10-point lead. Second free throw missing, and the rebound comes off to Bradley Cook. Charvin up the fourth quickly. Quickly, and out top, almost taken away by Bruna. He does force the turnover. Tipped it, and then it was knocked out of bounds by Clifton Clyde. And over his basketball. Charvin just chasing that down, or Barnes, rather, chasing that down and trying to get it back. Will Bruna kick out right baseline. Three-point attempt up. Rinse off this time for Carter Bruna. Outlet pass. Down court. Charbonneau in the lane. What a look. Clifton Clyde with a transition bucket. Matt Barnes, the feet down court, and Charbonneau knocks it in. Barnes had some juice on that pass, too. Midway point, second quarter. Bruna fakes three, lobs it to the paint. Here's a pull-up jumper. Baseline won't go for Fritchie, or correction for Stallbomber. Now back to the way, Clifton Clyde. Drive baseline, Thinberg. Put it in the paint towards Charbonneau. It's kicked out of bounds off of Caleb, just right at his shin. He just couldn't get down and catch it. And so out of bounds to Hanover, who leads 29-21. Bruna down court quickly. The corner left is Juneman. Michael Juneman backs it out. Now to the post, Carter Bruna. Back to the bucket. Squares in the lane. He's fouled on his way up. They'll say no on the floor, but a one-on-one. Carter Bruna now with 
eight points and a chance here at the stripe for a one and one opportunity. 4-0-1 remains second quarter. Clifton Klein led by one at the end of one period. And then Hanover stretched it out to 10 a moment ago. It leads by eight with 4-0-1 left here in the half. First free throw, Carter Brenna banks it in. He called glass. I don't think he called it. You know, we watched the guy trying to do that earlier and wasn't calling glass, and I kept telling him it wasn't going to count. you got to call it. That was a non-athletic situation. <laughs> that was totally. place. Totally. We'll leave it there. Second free throw misses on the rebound at jump ball, and the arrow is going to go to Clifton Clyde. And over leads by nine, just under uh, four minutes to go, second period. Clifton Clyde with the basketball. Caleb Charbonneau works it up the floor. And over in a man-to-man. Charbonneau with the dribble out top. Directs traffic away, moves left, and uh, they swing it back around to Sorrell. In the corner, it goes to Stenberg. Back to Zach Sorrell. Had eight first quarter points. Yet to score here at the second. Stenberg with it. Deep right wing. Corner right now to Charbonneau. They lob it low. Look at the post up inside. It gets away for a moment from Cole Mills. Now he'll dribble drive. Fall away. Leaner is good. Wow. Tough shot nice. by Mill. Nice move. That's the lead to seven at 30-23. to 23. Bruna thinks his way toward the lane. Now backs it out. And the 319 to work here in the second quarter. Juniman has it deep left. Carter Bruna. Ball fake. Left wing. Juniman. Dribble drive. Pulls up. 16-footer. Soft touch on the move. And Juniman now with 12. Nine-point handover lead. Sorrell takes three, starts to drive it, now backs it out. Around left it comes to Charbonneau. Charbonneau, high post, into the hands of Cordell Sear. Good lob down low. Bills couldn't get it down. The rebound comes off to Stallbomber. He'll bring it himself. Now his pass left, taken away by Sorrell. Race to the other end. Sorrell lay it. Good. He's got 10. Zach Sorrell, the 5'9 junior, got to steal the pass and hit the run out. Now Hanover's lead is seven, two and a half to go, first half. Here's Judiman to the lane, tripped up, no foul. The shot by Bruna, he thought he was fouled, nothing called. And back the other way, a double dribble on Clifton and Clyde. And the basketball back to the Wildcats. 32-25 ball game. 221 remains first half. Hanover back with possession. Will Bruna walks it up toward the midcourt strike. Starts left off the screen from Fritchie. Down to the baseline. Hesitation move. Turn, spin. Takes it up off the window in traffic with the defender on his hip. And he has eight. The lead is nine. Stenberg back the other direction. Two-minute mark. First half. 34-25. Hanover leaves it. Right wing and deep with it is Charbonneau. Back across to Sorrell. Crosses over against Juneman. Now off the screen. Works at left wing. He's in a double team. Out to Fahey. Backdoor look. Charbonneau drives. He is fouled. Almost got it to go down. He will draw the foul, it appears, against Adam Fritchie. And it will be two free throws coming for Caleb Charbonneau, who has two points in the game, the 5'8 senior. Foul on Fritchie, his second. Both teams in the bonus. This was on the shot. And the first free throw from Charbonneau is up and in. Clifton Clyde just hanging around and hanging around and not allowing Hanover to get into the type of game they want to be in. Yeah, it's one of those, uh, the longer it goes, the scarier it gets for the higher seed, the more exciting it gets for the the under, underdog. Second free throw misses. Carter Brun to the rebound. He'll bring it down. Minute 37 out of Will Brun in the lane. He walks with a basketball. Tried to go low to stall bomber, and it kind of got covered up. And a little hesitation forced that pivot foot to drag, and the basketball turned back over to Clifton Clyde. Looks to Coach Kim Losey, and Coach Losey said yes. Yeah, it happens. what you did. <laughs> Matt Barnes kick out. Sorrell, deep three, left wing, rattles in. He's got 13 here in the first half. And it's a five-point game, kid. A minute 19 to work. Clifton Clyde not more than hanging around. And now Hanover turns it back over. Wildcat turnover, and... Coach Kim Losey trying to find a rotation that's working right now. Yeah, he just doesn't have one right now. 
and Clifton Klein had a big part of that. That was an unforced error, but after the big three by Zach Sorrell, he's got 13 first-half points. Well, that's the thing. Hanover is not playing that bad. They're playing pretty well. Clifton Klein playing really well. Charbonneau with it left wing against Will Bruna. Cut off and gets it outside to Michael Sears. Now Barnes. Ball fake in the corner is Charbonneau. Starts to drive. Good wraparound pass. Now caught down low is Oldie. He will get it to the corner. Sorrell for three again. Feeling it, but this time long. And a rebound on the weak side to Will Bruna. 42 to work. Crosses over. Bruna now step back. Does it take the three to Fritchie. He'll pull the trigger. Strong. Weak side rebound. Sorrell. Clifton Clyde down by five. Down court pass. Charbonneau somehow held on to that. Now here's the play in the lane. Kick out. Sorrell takes the three. Now gives it off to Matt Barnes. 23 to work. Clifton Clyde trailing 34-29 to hand over. 18 seconds. Barnes will drive. He is fouled, and he drops it in. They will call it on the floor, yeah, will. and it'll be a one-and-one one chance for Matt Barnes. Good call, but a good shot by Matt Barnes. Got the contact, hung in the air, and dropped it in softly, but it was called on the floor. The foul was called on Michael Juneman, his second. 17 seconds to work in this first half. Barnes free throw rattles home. It cuts the lead to four now. 34-30. It was 17-16. Clifton Clyde at the end of one quarter. Hanover jumped out to a 10-point lead, but now it is back to a three-point contest. Hanover with a lead of 34-31. Charbonneau outs. Back in is Cordell Steer. 15 seconds left. Will Bruno will walk it up the court. And cross the midcourt stripe at the eight-second mark. Right, it goes to Carter Bruna. Five seconds remaining. Now Bruna out top. has got a good look for three at the buzzer. Short. And out of bounds is the buzzer sound. Well, at the halftime, Clifton Clyde making it much more than interesting at half. It's 34-31 to Hanover as we go to halftime in the TVL. Alexander Pump and Service Incorporated of St. Mary's can repair and replace all brands of irrigation pumps. They have a full line of line shaft and submersible pumps, but their services don't stop there. They also repair and reline wells, acidize wells to restore production, and inspect well casings using a downhole camera with video recording. Alexander Pump and Service does work in the Republican Valley as well as in many towns in the KCLY listing area. Call 785-437-6305. Walls True Value and Appliance continues to be open seven days a week to service your household repair needs, provide lumber and building materials, our award-winning True Value paint, and of course, a large selection of appliances by General Electric, Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Maytag, Hire, LG, and others. It's always been our goal to make your life easier by providing goods and services, and we hope we are accomplishing that for you. If not, stop in soon and see what we've got. We think you'll be amazed at what we have to offer in beautiful downtown Clay Center, open seven days a week for you. Barnes Automotive is the area's trusted diesel engine repair shop. Their team of qualified technicians have the knowledge and skill to get your diesel ag equipment, commercial trucks, industrial, and personal vehicles back in top performance. With a diesel mechanic specialist in your corner, you know you came to the right place for your diesel repair needs. And if you need tires, they have them too. For great customer service, partnered with exceptional quality diesel work called Barnes Automotive of Clifton and Vining at 455-3748. When you're ready to file your tax return, you can rely on help from someone who offers tax service with real benefits at Sunflower Insurance. Galen's knowledge of income tax preparation and commitment to his customers is just the start of what he offers. Whether you choose Sunflower Insurance to prepare your personal taxes or business taxes, you're getting a partner who will stand with you and actively seek out your best interests. Biggest refunds or smallest legal tax liabilities. Visit Sunflower Insurance of Clifton this tax season. 34-31 ball game here at the break, and the Clifton Clyde Eagles uh, led 17-16. Hanover jumped out to an eight-point lead, and then Clifton Clyde kind of settled in at a big first quarter and first half from Zach Sorrell. They cut it to two points. They cut it down to a one-point ball game. I think it took one-point lead. It was back and forth for a bit into the first quarter, 17-16. And you're thinking, wow, Clifton Clyde's really... I mean, doing some big things. They take the timeout. Hanover comes out and, and builds the lead to 10, and you're thinking, okay, Hanover's settled back in. But not so quick, my friend. <laughs> Here comes Clifton <laughs> Clyde again, and this is a three-point game at halftime. 
Well, that's the thing. You know, it's 34-31, and, and if, you're, if you're not watching the game, if you're just hearing it, you're maybe thinking, well, Hanover not playing so great. Hanover's playing pretty well. They're making a, an error here or there, but they're not playing that bad. Clifton Clyde is forcing them into situations they don't want to be in and they're not comfortable in, and Clifton Clyde is really playing well. I thought they played pretty good last night, you know, just good enough to, to beat Lynn, but they put a lot of points up. They're doing the same thing tonight against a really, really good Hanover team. You know, we don't keep turnover stats, those types of things, but Hanover's turned the ball over more than, than Clifton Clyde. I can tell you that without oh, yeah. having a statistician here. But I will say there are a few. I, I would, I, I bet a handful of plays where Hanover just turned the ball over really unforced, and that's very un-Hanover-like. But the thing that Clifton Clyde has done, they've continued to put them in situations, and then they've taken advantage of those mistakes They've got run outs, they've knocked down shots from the perimeter, and they've really been tough inside against the very physical hand of a Wildcat team. Well, that's the whole thing. You know, you can force Hanover into, into errors, and you can force them into turnovers and into, into places they don't want to be, but if you don't take advantage of it, you're not doing yourself any favors. Look, and Clyde's taking advantage of the situation. When Hanover gives them something, they're making a payoff on the other end, and, and they've continued to do that, and, you know, you wonder, you watch that first quarter, well, how long can Cliff and Clyde keep it up? Right. Well... They're, they're keeping they're doing very well, and I think that, that Coach Mike Towns has a heck of a game plan. He's rotating guys in, and, you know, he's going to run with them. If they want to run, okay, we'll run with you. And, they're, and they've done it, 34-31. Add all that together and put a special first half in by Zach Sorrell, and yeah. you got a ball game right now, 34-31 at the break. Clifton Clyde down by three. Stay with us. More from halftime and a TV all coming up. So you've been invited to a wedding out of town. But what about your elderly mom whom you take care of in your home? She won't be able to go with you, but she needs round-the-clock care. Answer? Park Villa Nursing Home in Clyde. They offer respite care for people like you. So now you know, in the future, whenever you need short-term respite care in order to attend a wedding, a graduation, or to go on vacation, call to make arrangements for your elderly loved one at Park Villa Nursing Home in Clyde. Turner Funeral Home is one of several strong community-minded businesses in Clifton who can always be counted on to give support to other groups in the community, especially the kids. The athletic programs at Clifton Clyde High School are great at teaching young athletes important life lessons about winning and losing, hard work and perseverance, discipline and teamwork. It's where they develop the will to win and the can-do spirit that never gives up. And that's worthy of the support of Turner Funeral Home in Clifton. Make sure your garage Mahal has all the right gear to make auto repairs easier. This month, get a gear wrench, 118-piece SAE and metric tool set for just $109.99. That's less than a buck a tool. Check out the complete selection of gear wrench products and great offers on selected sets for after the job cleanup, the Gojo Cherry Hand Cleaner in the 10-ounce bottle priced at two for $5 at Avery Auto Parts, your CarQuest Auto Parts store in Clay Center. Wall Street Value and Appliance continues to be open seven days a week to service your household repair needs, provide lumber and building materials, our award-winning True Value paint, and of course, a large selection of appliances by General Electric, Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Maytag, Hire, LG, and others. It's always been our goal to make your life easier by providing goods and services, and we hope we are accomplishing that for you. If not, stop in soon and see what we've got. We think you'll be amazed at what we have to offer in beautiful downtown Clay Center, open seven days a week for you. Twin Valley League Basketball on KCOY is brought to you in part by Alexander Pump and Services Incorporated, St. Mary's, Play Center Business Association, the CCBA, Blue Valley Telecommunications, Kramer Oil Company, by Walls True Value and Appliance, Play Center, D&K Agri-Sales, Wakeland Oil Company, CPS Waterville, and Landmark Implement, your local John Deere dealer in Marysville. Scoring leaders from the first half shape up like this. Zach Sorrell leads all scores with 13. He had eight of those in the first quarter. Five points for Michael Sear, four each from Cole Mills and Nathan Oldie, three from Caleb Charbonneau, and two points for Matt Barnes. Neither team a lot of free throws shot in the first half. For Clifton Clyde, it would be five of six from the line. Hanover is led by Michael Juneman's 12. He had two three-pointers. Carter Bruna has nine, including two trays. He also had eight points from Will Bruna, Adam Fritchie with three points. Pete Peters with two. Hanover as well. Not many free throws. They connected on four of six thus far. 
34-31. It's a good one here at halftime. See if Clifton Clyde can stretch this another quarter and really make it interesting down the home run, down the home stretch. Again, the tan over 34-31 over Clifton Clyde. Stay with us. We're back after the Andy's Hardware and Lumber continues to meet the needs of their customers with quality building products, tools, hardware, and customer service. They carry a wide selection of products to give you more choices and more solutions. Whatever you're building or remodeling, you need a reliable source of lumber, windows, doors, and hardware at good competitive prices. When you deal with Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover, you'll always be treated right. They extend good luck wishes to the Hanover Wildcats. Introducing the right and wrong reasons to add storage to your farm by DNK AgriSales, your Sukup dealer in Plymouth. A new bin should speed up harvest. While a new bin may speed up your harvest, this is actually not the best reason to buy a new bin from DNK. A new bin could make me more money. That new bin can actually make you money. Way more money than that new combine or pickup you just bought. DNK AgriSales, your Sukup dealer in Plymouth, can maximize your storage and your profitability. Wanklin Oil is proud to serve the community with propane, gas, and diesel fuel right to your home or farm. Family owned and operated, they'll deliver your fuel with an old fashioned personal touch. Their dependable quality service at the lowest price available makes them a leader in their field. In addition to propane and diesel, they also offer tank repair, sales, and service. For your fuel and heating needs, Wanklin Oil is just a call away. 800 794 2019. Serving you for 90 years, they have the energy. Seed, chemical, and fertilizer are the heart of your farm's success, and finding the right input combination for your operation is crucial. That's why you need an input provider you can trust. Sean and Jared with CPS in Waterville are just the guys to see for the 2017 growing season. With their unbiased agronomic advice, they will get you the seed traits, timely applications, and technology you need for your farm. Crop Production Services in Waterville, sowing the seeds of trust, so you can reap the harvest. 34-31, Hanover will open with the basketball here to begin this second half of play. They lead it by three over Clifton Clyde in what has been a really fun back-and-forth game. And the Eagles hanging around here. Will Bruna has it for Hanover. He'll look outside the Carter Bruna. Holds, now gives it left wing. They lob it down inside the paint to Fritchie. He'll turn, square it up, take it up, and knock it in. Fritchie with five points now. First field goal of the second half. Puts Hanover on top by five. Barnes down quickly and just overthrows on a lob down inside the paint. Maybe a little bit too much of a hurry that first trip down. Well, that is speed on speed. That <laughs> is going down the court between Matt Barnes and Will Bruna. 36-31. Will Bruna with the dribbles. Stops. High post. It comes to Zarbinicki down and low. Fritchie again. Two straight buckets for Adam Fritchie. And now the lead out to seven, Bruna near steal. Did not quite save it back in bounds as he runs up against the bleachers and the wall on the opposite side of the gym here. This is the kind of game that Hanover would like. And so far, Cliff and Clyde's done a good job of keeping them in it. Full core pressure now by Hanover. There's a steal by Zarvinicki. Pass across paint. Will Bruna wide open, and all of a sudden, Hanover jumped out to a nine point lead. Six unanswered to begin the second half. Fahey brings it across. Out deep and give it away from Michael Sear to Matt Barnes. He'll work it left wing. 40-31. Here's Sorrell right wing. He has a 13-point first half. Back out deep. Sear stops. Gives it to the corner. Matt Barnes. Triple drive. Turn. Spin. Back out deep. Sorrell has it. 640 to work. Third quarter. It's 40-31. Hanover now with a nine-point lead. They've scored six unanswered. Clifton try, Clyde trying to get something done on the offensive end. Deep right wing is Fahey. Corner right, it goes to Barnes. Back outside, Fahey. Now deep left to Sorrell. Troy did win in their matchup in the other boys' quarterfinal. There's a pull-up jumper, free throw line, missing from Bradley Cook. Carter Bruna down court, releasing was Will Bruna. Easy lay, and he's got 10. Correction 12 now for Bruna, and it's an 11-point lead. Now a double team against Fahey. Wrap around pass, weak side. Up the court comes Barnes. He'll break the timeline and now set the offense for Clifton Clyde against the handover man-to-man. They go from the full-court pressure right to man-to-man. Here's Sear against Fritchie. Ball fake. 
Now takes it up and is fouled. He'll get to the free throw line to shoot two. Yeah, Fritchie looks over to Coach Kim Losey with his palms in the air, and Losey holds both hands in the air. <laughs> get him up. We'll put him out there against exactly. the basketball, and it's the third foul on Fritchie. who had two very early buckets to begin this third quarter. The free throw stripe. First shot missing from Sear. Michael Sear has five points. He was one of two at the line in the first half. 42-31, Hanover. Sear with one more free throw. Left-handed charity shot up. No good. Rebound tips around Darvin. He missed it, but picked up by Will Bruna. And Hanover back to the way, leading by 11. Bruna toward this lane. All the way to the wow. glass and finishes. Will Bruna now with 14. Well, he's just taking control of things. 13-point advantage now for the Wildcats. Here's a drive down low. Shot is strong. Bruna. Weak side rebound as it's taken away by Michael Sear. Now Sorrell in transition pulls up for three. Can't get it. Flip and fly it again to the paint. Shot up. No. Zarbanicki brings it down. Will Bruna back the other direction. 44-31. Here's Carter Bruna with it on the left side. To the post. They get it to Stahlbomber. He'll take it up and finish it low. Taking Stahlbomber's first bucket. Now down court, puts and Clyde, three on two numbers. Sorrell toward the lane, cut off by Stahlbomber. Barnes, left corner for three, rims off, rebound, tipped around, and a foul is going to be called on Clifton Clyde. And the basketball goes back through the way to Hanover, who suddenly has put a three-point lead out to 15-12-0 run to start this quarter. And Coach Kim Losey, I think, finally clapping his hands and finally seeing what he wants to see out of his team and, and – Clifton Clyde just a little bit overwhelmed right now and have kind of come out of that game that they were in in the first half. 46-31, 440 left in the third. Will Bruna, and he is going to be fouled on the perimeter by Fahey. And so it will be Wildcat basketball on the sideline. 46-31, Hanover leads it, 438 left, and a timeout taken on the floor. Will break as well, you're listening the Twin Valley League Basketball on 100.9. Wherever you live in the area, you're never too far from Kramer Oil. With locations in Barnes, Beatty, Clifton, Green, Greenleaf, Herkimer, Lynn, Marysville, and Washington, you'll find self-serve pay at the pumps for a convenient and quick fill-up when you need it. Kramer Oil also provides bulk fuel delivery and works closely with their customers to meet their supply needs. They continue to cover Clay, Washington, Riley, and Marshall counties with bulk fuel delivery and exceptional customer service. Landmark Implement is your local authorized John Deere dealer. Landmark's trained and certified sales staff will help you find the right equipment for your needs at a price that's right for you, all backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network. Whether it's a tractor, planter, combine, an easy track lawnmower, or gator, every piece of equipment and pre-owned inventory is put through a rigorous inspection so it's ready to work hard for you. Landmark's team works together to make sure everything that is sold meets their quality standards. Learn more at LandmarkImp.com or stop in to one of our 17 locations and experience the Landmark difference. 46-31 out of the timeout. Hanover has the basketball back with that 15-point advantage. They can stall ball. will bring it in to Will Bruna. Taps the head. They call the play. Gets the screen from Zarbanicki. Goes away from it. Now to Carter Bruna. Fakes the three. Steps toward the paint. Here's a drive inside by Zarbanicki to Michael Juneman. Left baseline for three. No. Weak side board, though. Carter Bruna is back up. He can't get it. And then Stahlbomber called for the foul underneath. Bruna had a perfect look in low and just couldn't get it down. 413 to work third quarter. So Clifton Clyde gets it. Hanover stays with the full court pressure. Up the left sideline comes Charbonneau. Almost lost it at the half court line. Now gets it back with the dribble. He's shaded by Juneman. Baseline left. The drive in. Shot up. No. Weak side rebound. Carter Bruna has it. Up the court to Michael Juneman. 15-point handover lead. Trying to go in low. Juneman looking for Zarbanicki. And it tipped out of bounds off of Clifton Clyde. Wildcat basketball on the baseline. Will Bruna will inbound. Carter Bruna. Right side wing, three, no. Rebound, big wow. time and low. Zarbanicki, one more time, no. Now the ball batted around inside, and a foul called very late on that possession, and it goes against Hanover. 
And Bruno working his tail off inside. Zarbanicki had two offensive rebounds. And those two guys unable to capitalize in low on the chances they gave themselves. Here's Clifton Clyde in the front court. Left wing jumper on its way and buried by Gavin Ware. Six foot junior makes it a 13 point ball game. Hanover with the lead. Will Bruno at the front court. Lobs it low for Zarbanicki. And Charbonneau, good help side defense, able to get across there and knock it out of bounds. It'll stay with Hanover on the baseline. Both sides in this match there between Zarbanicki and Charbonneau. Charbonneau wisely just found a way to get a hand on it. 46 33. Here in the third. Carter Bruna out top. Wing right. Will Bruna. Three ball up and just rimming out. Rebound comes away to Fahey. Looking Clyde's basketball. They're down by 13. They've been held to just two points in the first five minutes of this third quarter. Charbonneau with it. Left in the deep, almost taken away by Stallbomber. It will stay with Clifton Clyde on the sideline. Hey, he will inbound it. Puts the play in motion from the sideline. Hand over to nine. Now Clifton Clyde gets it out near the timeline to where? To say he now hand it off to Charbonneau. Under three to work, third period. Charbonneau, Judeman all over him. Now he goes high post to uh, Cordell Sear, the lob down low, tipped by Zarbanicki, picked up by Zarbanicki, but then it's loose. Charbonneau has it, and blocked from behind is going to be Nathan Oldie, but a foul is called against the Hanover Wildcats. And I believe they'll get Stallbomber on the foul, which will be his third. And it is the third on Stallbomber. 245 left, and at the free throw line is Oldie to shoot two. At four points in the first half on two field goals, makes the first free throw here and cuts the lead down to 12. Substitutions in on both sides. All Bomber's going to have to come out. Both oh, those three fouls. So he does come to the sideline. And free throw up and good by Oldie, who now has six. So Hanover gets it back. Their lead is down to 11. They led by just three at halftime. Now up 46-35. Got a quick start to this third quarter. Down to 235. Carter Bruna to the post. Will Bruna back to the bucket. Turned. Rowell, what a look across oh, paint man. to Pete Peters for two. <laughs> Will Bruna posting up that time and able to see the second defender come and just know that Pete Peters was open on the weak side. 218 to work. Sorrell now taken away by Juniman. Three on two the other direction. To Bruna. Hangs in the air. Fouled. He'll go to the stripe to shoot two. Well, Bruna now with 14 points in the game. And a chance to add to it at the stripe with 211 to go in the third period. Tell you what, you feed somebody like that on a wraparound, you ought to get one point. <laughs> I'm really that. First free throw just misses short by Bruna. He'll get another chance coming here. And he knocks this one in. He has 15. The lead is 12. Here's the full court pressure. Down court pass. Terrell further down the floor. Pete Peters going to be called for the foul. Yeah. Almost got there, but couldn't quite get there in time. Yeah, just a little bit late. It is the... I believe fourth team foul against correction, fifth team foul against Hanover. Four whistled against Clifton Clyde here in the third quarter so far. Eagles basketball in the front court, 49-35. Two minutes remains, third quarter. Hanover by 14. Here's Barnes. High post to Fahey, back out deep to Barnes. Works off a screen by Fahey. Now feeds it back and low. He came to a jump stop and then pivoted and turns it over. Maybe even a little extra half hop in there as well. So Hanover gets it back, the lead 14. Will Bruna walks it up. Minute 44 to work, we're in the third. Hanover, Will Bruna almost ran into his own man and lost it. He's able to get it back and off to Pete Peters, now out deep to Judeman. Now Hanover not quite in the offense they want to be in. Here's Judeman, kick out, Bruna for three, down, but that'll work. <laughs> 
18 now for Bruna. Yeah, that does work. Yeah, works. that's just fine. Solves a lot of problems. There's a drive and low and a rip away on the board by Pete Peters. Outlook pass Bruna. Will Bruna kick out left baseline. Juniman for three. Two wow. straight trades. Knocked in for Hanover. Juniman now with 15. That's his third triple he's buried. And the lead suddenly 20. Left wing three. Answered on the other end by Austin Beery, the 5'8 junior. He hit a couple back-to-back big last night. Here's Will Bruna the other direction. Toward the lane. We're reversing. Oh, you're making a hit. 20 now for Bruna. <laughs> kind of weaved his way through traffic, and next thing you knew, he had a reverse lane. Wow. Here's Clifton Clyde with 38 to work third quarter, and Hanover a 19 point lead. Fahey against Zarvanicki. Nearly taken away, now loose. It will be to the baseline and off of. It's off of. Clifton Clyde and goes back to Hanover. Right, they're going to say that went off Fahey as he tried to get back control of it. Some pressure coming down from the Eagles. It'll be Hanover's possession. They lead by 19. Again, the other gym is wrapped up their action for the evening. Here's Michael Juneman. Top of the key. Troy winning that game in the final game of the night on that gym. 15 seconds left, third period. 57-38. Hand over the lead. High post is Arbenicki. Lob down low to Peters. As it's stripped away, loose on the baseline. Out of bounds to Hanover. 7.4 seconds left to go here in the third. And it'll be Will Bruner to inbound. Lobs it out deep. Zarbanicki back in the corner right. Carter Bruner to Will Bruner with three, with two, with one. Takes it up at the buzzer. No, chip in by Peters. That'll count. Pete Peters at the buzzer, the tip in, he has six. We're headed to the fourth in Washington. Hanover leading now, 59-38. Our roots are in agriculture. We're local. Many of us were born and raised in the areas that we serve. Because of that, we make our ag decisions right here at the bank. There's no waiting for some out-of-town approval on your loan requests. So rather than planting your seeds in someone else's field, stop by and let's talk. We're here to help you grow. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. The Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic is ready to protect your family's health care needs. From newborns to seniors and everyone in between, they are committed to delivering high-quality care. Addressing the health needs ranging from prevention, checkups, and care of illnesses and injury to maternity and other health conditions, they take pride in those they serve. Join Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic in cheering on the student-athletes of the community in their academic and sporting events. They're proud of the Hanover Wildcats. 59-38, eight minutes to play. It'll be Hanover's basketball to begin the fourth quarter. That was a 25-7 quarter. Hanover outscoring the five. They've stretched it out. Well, that's that's what they're capable of, and that's if you're Kim Lowe's that you come out of halftime, that's what you want. Carter Bruna has it left wing off the screen from Zarbanicki. Now looks low. Zarbanicki right back to Bruna. Three balls short. Steve Peters trying to save it in bounds, but it stepped. the ball had landed out of bounds before Peters could get to it. 21-point advantage. Barnes brings it up the floor against Hanover. This was 34-31 at halftime. Clifton Clyde was down three, and it was some kind of first half of the Eagles that Hanover really has imposed their will here in this second half. Here's Sorrell up top for three. He gets it down 16 now for Sorrell, and it gets the lead back down to 18. Bruna back the other direction. Zarvanicki out to Peters. Right wing deep, Judeman, and we've got a foul down low against Clifton Clyde, away from the basketball, a hold as Arbenicki was cutting through the lane. 59-41. Foul was on Sear. It's Michael Sear, his third. And Hanover will have it underneath the basket. Judeman, corner right to Bruna. Free throw line. Zarbanicki for two, and he buries it. It's Brendan Zarbanicki's first points of the night. He does so much more than score. Yeah, he really does. Call his name a lot. He uh, was able to get a bucket there and a pull up at the free throw line. Here's Sear down inside and a reach and foul call to get, I believe, Carter Bruno will be whistled. 61 41 Hanover. Seven minutes remains here in this ballgame. 
foul was called on the floor against the Wildcats. It was on Carter Burna, his second. Adam Fritchie back in. Back up top, Will Bruna tips it to the backcourt. Sorrell comes up with the toe. The Barnes into the post. Michael Sear grabs his way in the lane. Now a shot up and rimming off. One more look, and this time it is going to be missed and brought down by Pete Peters. Good looking low by Bradley Cook. Just couldn't finish it. Down court quickly. Michael Jenemus drives the lane, hangs in the air. Foul is called. It will be on the floor. So next foul on either team, and both squads will be in the bonus. Basketball out of bounds to hand over this time on the baseline. You know, I think Cook, back to that last shot, I think that uh, Pete Peters got a hand on that ball. He knocked that just enough off track. Might be right. And then he knew where it was going. Exactly. He was the one that got the, the rebound. Pass to the paint. Four Peters lose. Will Bruna had it for a moment. Now we've got a timeout taken. Yep. By Clifton Clyde to save the possession. 61 41 Hanover leads at 629 remains. You're listening to TVL Basketball on KCLY. Think of Sap Brothers of Hanover as your unlimited source of energy. Their business is dedicated to bulk delivery of gasoline, diesel fuel, propane, and oil in Marshall and Washington counties. Sap Brothers will deliver to homes, businesses, and even wherever you are out in the field. That's pretty important when you're in the middle of an extremely busy season. Call them for a competitive fuel quote and keep them in your contacts list. 337-2446. Sat Brothers' number again is 337-2446. 6.29 remains here in the fourth quarter, 61-41. It'll be Clifton Clyde's basketball. Timeout taken to save that possession, and down the court with it will come Caleb Charbonneau. Left and deep to Stenberg. Now to the high post. Michael Sear takes it in, pulls the trigger, and gets it to drop home. Sear's got seven. Back to the way, Will Bruna. Wing right. Hesitation move. Gets to the baseline. Kick out. Juneman wide open for the three ball. Rims away. Oh, Peters ties it up. Sear got the board. Pete Peters kind of came out of nowhere to tie this thing up. And the arrow does belong to Clifton Clyde. Eagle substituting. Back into the game, Beery. 61-43, lead for Hanover. Six minutes to go in the ballgame. Full court pressure again by the Wildcats. Up the left sideline comes Sorrell. And now a foul is going to be called against Peters, and it'll be a one-and-one chance for Sorrell. He's got 16 in the game, but just scored his first bucket a moment ago in that three-pointer. He 13 first half points. Yeah, you got to get off of the player when you're running down the right. sideline like that. You can't lean into him. Foul was on Pete Peters, his second. And Sorrell smart enough to lean in as <laughs> he gets near the lane. Front end of the one and one misses. Rebound off to Hanover. Carter Burnett to Will Burnett. 545 remains. Will Burnett attacks the paint with a dribble to the wing right. Juniman didn't have a look at three. Now dribble drives. Pulls the trigger on the baseline. Top wow. angle, and he drops it in. That's from behind the backboard. He has 17 now for Michael Judeman. In the lane is Clifton Clyde. Good turnaround jumper missing from Bradley Cook. And what a rebound from Pete Peters. Sophomore can get up in the air. Tell you what, he's up in the air and he's strong. Yeah, the hands are pretty amazing. Yeah. Pass to Fritchie on the baseline. Got away from him. And so the turnover back to Clifton Clyde. Hanover leads it here by 20. 5.21 5.21 remains in the ball game. Clifton Clyde with possession. Beery into Barnes and will walk it up the floor. Barnes off the screen from Fahey. Now pulls from 15 feet. Strong rebound. Taking stall bomber. And he will give it away to Michael Juneman who brings it the other direction. Juneman, right wing. Crossover toward the paint. All the way to the lane. He's fouled. Two free throws coming for Juneman. Who has 17 points in the game. He'll get two charities here with 5.01 remaining. And Hanover with that 20-point advantage. The gentleman will try to add to it at the line. 5.11 senior, first free throw strong. As he looks to the heavens, wondering how he missed a free throw. (laughs) And now steps back up to look at the next one. And the second free throw 
This one's good. He says that's more like it. <laughs> 18 now for Juniman. 64-43 and over by 21. Just under five minutes to go here in the game. Flip to Clyde with it out top. They'll work it right baseline to Matt Barnes. Barnes with Juniman on him. Now to the corner right is Sorrell. Back out deep, Barry. Did a three earlier, but started by Stallbomber this time. Step back two from Barnes, just short. Rebound, Stallbomber. Juniman will bring it up the floor. Will Bruna in one corner. Zavernicki in the other baseline, looking for the post opportunity. Now, Juniman has it out top. Michael Juniman off the screen from Zarvanicki. Oh, the slip Uh-oh. screen, and Zarvanicki will be fouled. He'll step to the free throw line. Boy, that was a nice-looking play, nice feed. The old pick and roll. All this playing basketball is still probably the best to be used, and it gets Zarvanicki to the line to shoot, too, and it looks great when it works. That was right at the top on the point where the screen took place, and then Juniman put a good bounce pass into the hands of Zarbanicki, and he knocks down the first free throw. And now the lead is 22. Six-two. Seniors, second free throw is up, and it is also good. Adam Zarbanicki with four points now. 66-43, and a timeout taken by Clifton Clyde. 407 remains. You're listening to TVL coverage on 100.9. BNW Electric in Hanover is your local electrical specialist, and they're ready to meet your residential or commercial needs. They can handle rewiring jobs, installations, new construction, and more. Rest assured, the work will get done right the first time by professionals who know the job. BNW Electric is ready to handle any project that requires a backhoe. Keep them in mind for all your electrical needs and backhoe service. BNW Electric, proud fans and huge supporters of the Hanover Wildcats. Andy's Hardware and Lumber continues to meet the needs of their customers with quality building products, tools, hardware, and customer service. They carry a wide selection of products to give you more choices and more solutions. Whatever you're building or remodeling, you need a reliable source of lumber, windows, doors, and hardware at good competitive prices. When you deal with Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover, you'll always be treated right. They extend good luck wishes to the Hanover Wildcats. 407 left here in the fourth, 66-43. It is Hanover with a lead of 23. Clifton Clyde coming out of the timeout. We'll have it on the sideline. Zach Sorrell will bring it inbounds. Hanover in the man-to-man. The lob out deep goes into the backcourt to Michael Sear. Sear brings it across. Now caught a double team. Gets rid of it to Barnes. Matt Barnes with the dribble up top. Takes the three. Gives it off to Sorrell. Way downtown for three. It's strong. Weak side rebound. Stall bomber. Gentleman will bring it. Hanover a lead of 23 now. Wildcats to Zarbanicki. Looks for a cut. No one there. Outside it goes to Will Bruna. Bruna off the screen from Zarbanicki. Now stops. Out top again. Zarbanicki hands it right back to Will Bruna. Bruna dribble drive. No backs up. Now does take it toward the left side with the dribble still intact. High post. Stall bomber. Backdoor look. Here's Bruna. That reverse lay in this time won't go. Good feed from Stallbomber. Bruna had a good look on the reverse, but couldn't get this one to kiss in off the window. Here's a drive by Sorrell. Good head and shoulder fake, and he's able to put it up and in. He now has 18 in the game. 3-11 remain. And over, up court, Juniman. Juniman with the dribble. And over with a 21-point lead. Here's a drive by Fritchie and an offensive foul called against the Wildcat. Fritchie the dribble drive, and they called him for... The charge, it goes back to the direction with three to work. Sorrell into Barnes. And Clifton Clyde up the court quickly. And over now, it's taken away. Will Bruna the other direction for an easy lay-in. And that puts him up by 23 again. And Bruna's put together a big ball game. Now the shot missed inside by Clifton Clyde. Long down court pass looking for Bruna. It's loose on the ground. It's going to be tied up. And the arrow goes to Hanover. 22 tonight for Will Bruna. How many of those in the second half? Uh, 14 second half points. Yeah, he came alive in that third quarter. Yeah. 
really put this team out of reach. Michael Jenneman, 17, but 12 of those in the first half. Looks like they're going to be done for the night. We'll bring them to the sideline, get some guys some varsity court time in a TVL with 2.38 left to work here in the game. Here's Stahl Bomber. This is Drives it, kick out, right wing three, Diedrich, just off the mark. Rebound comes away to Stittberg. Now Zarvanicki takes it back. Diedrich picks it up right at the half court stripe. Top of the key, Zarvanicki, stall bomber. Kick out, left baseline. With it is Fritchie. Adam Fritchie back out deep to Diedrich. Stacey Hagedorn also in for the Hanover Wildcats now offensively. Here's Fritchie toward the lane. Now Diedrich, down to two minutes to work. It's a 23-point Hanover lead. So we'll wrap up our coverage here in the final ball. Here tonight. Now Caleb Charbonneau with the steal. and They'll run out for two. Charbonneau with five points. Down to a minute 45 remaining, 68-47. Down the other way, Clifton finds the steal. Outside it goes to Charbonneau, right baseline against Fritchie. A minute 33, and it's taken away by Stallbomber. Hanover leads it by 21. Stallbomber attacks. Right baseline. Three attempts on its way, and down by Hagedorn off the sideline. 71-47 now. Stenberg, right baseline drive. Ball fake, shot up, no. Rebound, tips it to bounds with a minute 12 to work. And possession belongs to Clifton Clyde on the baseline. Now Hanover will bring in, will bring out their starters, I should say. 71-47. From the top of the key, Sorrell, another three try, can't get this one to go. And the basketball now is loose in the backcourt. 101 remains, and it will go back to Clifton Clyde. So the Eagles have it on the sideline. 101 left, 71-47, the lead for Hanover. Sorrell, ball fake, steps up, pulls the trigger off last no. Rebound comes away to Agador. Under a minute to work, Hanover leads it. We'll be moving on to the semifinals on Friday night. Hanover will be matched up on the boys' side with Onega. The other side of the bracket is a steal by Fahey down court. Michael Sear the lay-in. He's got it up and good. He now has nine with 28 seconds to work. Troy and Donovan West on the other side of the bracket. The girls' semis were set before these games tipped off. Centralia faces Wetmore and a good one at three on Friday. Washington County and Hanover will go head-to-head. 14 to work here. Sorrell down court. Lay-in up. No. And then rebound off then to Nikon Stallbomber. All Bomber walks it across with three, with two, and that's going to wrap it up in this one. Hanover wins it. The final is 71 to 49, the final here in Washington. Let's give you a scoring leader. 18 points from Zach Sorrell, the 5'9 junior for Clifton Clyde. They get nine from Michael Sear. They also have six points from Nathan Oldie, four for Cole Mills, two free throws knocked in by Matt Barnes, a two pointer from Gavin Ware, a three pointer from Austin Berry, five points from Caleb Charbonneau. It is 22 tonight for Will Bruna, and then 17 for Michael Juneman in this ball game. Nine points for Carter Bruna. Pete Peters had six. Seven points for Adam Fritchie. A.C. Hagenor hit the uh, three-pointer late. Adam Zarbanicki with four points, and they could solve offer with two, and that's a 71-49 winner. The semifinals are set. Consolation games will come your way tomorrow here on KCLY. Opening tip-off will be at 5.30. Bill Casper and I will join you back here once again for Flip. And our studio engineers, Bernie Fancella and Hannah Byers, this is Rocky Downing telling you to enjoy the rest of your sports Wednesday.